Hi everyone, this is Rislan sir. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to have a look on LCM. Right? We'll move to a question regarding LCM. Least common multiple or oh, lowest common multiple is known as LCM. Now normal methods are there. 2 and 6. We have to find the LCM for 2 and 6. For that we have to divide this number by a prime number. First prime number is 2. When we divide this one, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Again we are moving to the number 3. When you divide by that 1 will be same. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 times 3 is what? 6. So the LCM is what? 6. This is the normal method we have learned. Now Rislanza's trick is there. You can use that trick here. 2 and 6. 2 numbers are there. We have to find the LCM for these both numbers. When you find the LCM, you have to get the largest number out of these two. The largest number is 6. So you are taking 6. Then consider this 6 can divide by the lowest number 2 or can't. Yes, can divide. Then LCM is what? 6 is the LCM. I'll explain again. You have two numbers. One number is 2, another number is 6. You have to compare in between these two. Which one is the greatest number? 6 is the greatest number. So then see the 6 can divide by the smallest number upon the smallest number is 2 that can divide then the LCM is the largest number 6 is the largest number okay let's look second question 3 and 9 we have to find the LCM for 3 and 9 we are taking the prime numbers 2 can't divide this 3 and 9 then we are moving to 3 just 3 can divide 3 one time when you divide 9 by 3 there is 3 again we can divide the same number by 3 we are taking 3 then 1 will be remain same within 3 how many 3's are there one time this is normal method we are following 3 times 3 there is 9 according to my method 3 and 9 two numbers are there you have to get the largest number out of this largest number is 9 then think about the lowest number if the lowest number can divide by 9 or oh, sorry 9 can divide by 3 or 1 yes can divide then if the largest number can divide by the smallest number LCM will be the largest number so the num largest number is what 9 so the LCM also 9 let's move to the next question related to the lowest common multiple Okay, now let's have a look on another question. Normal method of 2 and 5. Right? 2 and 5. When you take this 2 and 5, 2 can divide one time. When you divide 5, that cannot be divided by 2, then that will be remain same. When you have the second prime number 3, we can't divide this both by 3. Then we are moving to the third prime number. There is 5. 5 can divide this 5. 1 time will be come. Then in between these two, this 2 and 5 should multiply. Then answer is what? 10. This is normal method we are following. According to my method, we have two numbers 2 and 5. We have to get the largest number out of this. Largest number is 5. Largest number is what? 5. Then think about the smallest number. Is that possible for you to divide that 5 by 2? No. You can't divide that 5 by 2 without reminder. So we are taking the times of 5. The times of 5. Times of 5 mean 5, 10, 15, 20 like that. We have to get the times of 5. Then 5, next 5. Add, add 5 to 5. That will be 10. Is that 10 can divide by 2 or 1? Yes, we can divide that 10 by 2. So the LCM is what? 10. So the LCM is what? 10. Right? Let's have another question in LCM. The question is, lowest common multiple question is, we have a normal method. So 3 and 8 when we have two numbers 3 and 8 the way of finding LCM 
just we have to divide by the plus prime number that is 2 3 can't divide it should repeat 8 can divide by 2 that will be 4 then again we have to move to 2 2 can divide this 3 can't we have to repeat it again then within 4 how many 2's are there 2 times again we can divide this by 2 then 2 can take as common 3 can't divide then 2 will be 1 within 2 how many 2's are there 1 then we are moving to the next prime number that is 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 that 1 will be remain same this is the earliest method we have learned 2 2's are 4 2 4's are 8 8 3's are 24 then LCM is what? 24 according to my trick 3 and 8 we have to get the largest number out of these two largest number is 8 then we have to see whether 8 can divide by 3 or can't we can't divide 8 by 3 then we are taking the times of 8 that means uh, 8 times mean 2 times of 8 how much 16 is this 16 can divide by 3 no we can't we can't divide the 16 by 3 then we are moving to the next time that is 3 8 are 24 24 can divide by 3 or can't yes can divide then the LCM will be 24 then the LCM will be what 24 then LCM will be 24 right let's have a look on another question the question is 4 and 15 right the way of finding the LCM in normal method we can do by 2 then 4 will 4 divided by 2 is 2 15 cannot divide by 2 then we will repeat same again we can move to 2 one time will come within 15 how many tools are there 15 can't divide so 15 will be remain same then we will move to the next prime number that is 3 3 can divide 15 within 15 how many threes are there 5 then we will move to 5 5 can divide by 5 it will be 1 now this 2 and 2 should multiply 2 2's are 4 4 3's are 12 12 5's are 60 this is the normal method we are following regularly right now we are getting the new trick that is 4 and 15 we have to select the largest number out of these two largest number is 15 is this 15 can divide by 4 we can't divide this 15 by 4 so we are taking the next times of that means 15 2 times is what 30 30 can divide by 4 or can't we can't divide 30 without reminder so we are moving to next times 15 3s are 45 times of 15 then 45 cannot divide by 4 then we have to add the another time of 15 that will be 60 we have to add each and every terms why 15 then 60 can divide by 4 can here yeah, 60 can divide by 4 then the LCM is what 60 right then the LCM is 60 now let's move to the next question lowest common factors LCM normal method is there 2, 5, 10. 3 numbers are there. 2, 5, 10. First, we can divide this number by 2. When we divide this by 2, 2, 2 is a 1 time. Within 5, we can't divide without remainder. 5 will be remain same. When we divide 10 by 2, it will be 5. Then we are moving to 5. 5 is the prime number. 1. Within 5, how many 5s are there? 1. And again, 1 time. Then this 2 times 5 is what? 10. 2 times 5 is 10. According to my method, 2, 5, 10. What is the largest number out of this 3? 10 is the largest number. Is this 10 can divide by 2 or can? Yes, 10 can divide by 2. At the same time, we have to compare with 5, 2. Then 10 can divide by 5 or can? Yes, can divide. Then if the 10 can divide by both the numbers, the LCM is what? LCM is 10. Let's have a look on another question. Lowest common multiple. Normal method is there, 2, 3, 8, 3 numbers are there, first we can divide this by 2, 1 will remain now, then within 3 we can't divide, it have to be same, 8 can divide by 2 that is 4, when you divide this by 2, 1 will be remain same, 3 also will be remain same, 4 can divide by 2 that is 2, again you can use the 2, 1 will remain same, 3 will remain same, and the 2 divided by 2 is what, 1, now 3 can divide this number, 3 one time will be remain then what you have to do is the all the side multiple should be get, 
then 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 3s are 24. Then the LCM is what? 24. This is the normal method we are following. According to my trick, 3 numbers we are having 2, 3, 8. In these 3 numbers, which one is the largest number? Largest number is 8. Then compare, is this 8 can divide by 2 or can't? Yes, we can divide. Is this 8 can divide by 3 or can't? No, we can't divide 3. Right? 8 cannot divide by 3. Then we are moving to the next time of 88. Next time of 8 with the times of 8. 16 will be the answer. 16 can divide by 2 or can't? 16 can divide by 2. 3 can divide 16 or can't? No, we can't divide 16 by 3. Then again we are moving to the next time of 8. That is 3 8s are 24. 8 plus 8 plus 8. Then every term should add, add by 8. Then 16 plus 8 is 24. When you compare the 24 and 2, that can be divided. When you compare the 24 and 3, that also can be divided. If both the numbers can divide 24 mean, the LCM will be the 24. The LCM will be the 24. Then the answer for this question is 24. Right? Let's move to next question. Next question is 3, 6, 10. 3 numbers are there. When we divide this by 2, 3 will remain same. 6 within 6, how many 3's are 2's are there? 3. Within 10, how many 2's are there? 5. Then we can divide these 3 numbers by next prime number that is 3. One time. One time. And within 5, how many times? We can't divide that should be remain same. Then we are taking the 5, 1, again one time. Within 5, how many 5s are there? One time. Then this all, all the numbers should multiply. 2, 3s are 6, 5, 6 are 30. Then the LCM is what? 30. According to my method, 3, 6, 10. 3 numbers are there. What is the largest number? 10 is the largest number. When you take this 10, 10 can divide by 3 or can't? No, we can't divide. 10 by 3 6 also can't divide then take the next time of 10 there is 20 20 can divide by 3 no can't divide 6 also can't divide 20 then we are moving to the next time of 10 there is 30 30 can divide by 3 yes can divide 6 also can yes that also can divide then the LCM is what 30 is the LCM then we have find the answer for that question there is 30 right okay students don't forget to subscribe my channel have a nice day bye take care